selecting a hatch pattern so we want to go over to our hatch and we want to go to a hatch command in our hatch command we go up into properties up here we have our hatch type and in our hatch type we have basically four different types of hatches so we'll start with um, we'll start with the solid the solid is just the solid fill so I come down and that's my solid fill right there alright so that's hatch type number one if I go into my hatch pattern and I go to the type and I go to gradient a gradient is a combination of two different uh, colors or two different uh, uh, fills so I'll just pick on one of them here and I'll place it and there is a gradient so it's a blend between two different colors and let's go to my third one here and so I go to hatch and when I go up to uh, pattern is my third one and when I pick on a pattern over here is all my patterns you can see I have an angle in ANSI uh, 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 American National Standards Institute 31, American National Standards Institute 32, etc. And I can go down one by one with the arrow button, or I can come down and hit this down button down here, and this will fly out uh, to more of all the objects. So here we have them by uh, a little uh, indicator, uh, a little icon, uh, and we also have a name. Uh, so the, the first part is ANSI. Uh, American National Standards Institute. Down here, AR stands for architectural. So architectural are full size. So here we have an architectural block that's 8 inches by 16 inches. So these are actually drawn to these sizes. So the correct full sizes. Then we have just plain names down here of various patterns. We have some gradients and some regular names. Down where it has ISO, that's International Standards Organizations, that is for Europe. And so we can come down, we can pick on any pattern we want. So I'll come down in here and let's just say I'll pick on my ANSI 34 and I'll pick. And you can see the pattern. I can hit enter and I can close my hatch creation ribbon then. I do have one more. Uh, I'll go up into my hatch. And so my last one is user defined. And in user defined, I actually can create my own uh, user defined hatch pattern with equally spaced lines. Uh, so I can create whatever I want. I can also do custom hatch patterns by programming in my ACAD.PAT file. So that's a customization uh, class that you might want to take, or that's a little beyond this particular AutoCAD 1 class. So uh, in review, we have three major ones that we use. We have the solid, we have the gradient, and we have the pattern.